Good morning. Hi everyone. Lolly here. It's Mini Mood Card Monday. Mini Mood Card Monday is an open collaboration. I'm co-hosting with my friend Aliyah and I will put the link to her channel below. Um, and you'll want to go over and check out her videos. And what we're doing is every Monday we are posting a new Mini Mood Card, which are small little cards that measure 1.1 by 2.75 and they're like a tiny tiny little ATC or something like that so if you want to join along it's an open collaboration you can use the hashtag mini moo card Monday in your title and tag Aaliyah and I in your description so that we get the notification that you have posted a video and we can go over and watch your video and subscribe to your channel and that's it that's all there is to it the fun part is, is that they're tiny and so it's a little canvas to work on and so that makes it fun to try to come up with a new idea every week um, with something so small. So, so even though it's a challenge, it is really fun. I like to do um, the little part because I feel like it challenges me to um, look for things that I wouldn't normally maybe reach for, but um, now that I'm doing this challenge, it's using all the little tinies, and that's really fun. So again, like every week I come in here, I'm like, what am I going to do? So you can see, I think you can see, here was December. I'm just doing the Christmas theme because I have all the Christmas theme, um, everything out, just because I'm working on other projects, and so... Um, we're just going to live it up for Christmas and then in January we'll do something different. <clears throat> so in my stash of all of my ephemera and all my bits and bobs, I was thinking, my goodness, I might, I do have little pieces, Tim Holtz, things like that. And, um, you know, things like this, but tiny. And I know my camera is dark today, but my overhead light went out. That involves a ladder and all that, so <laughs> I haven't done it yet. But anyway, the little things like this that are teeny tiny, I've been digging through the bottom of my um, bucket that I keep them in. And here we go. Looking for... You know things that I could use so um, that's been really fun because those normally fall, fall to the bottom of the little tote that's in there and um, they don't get used like right away I used a lot of it when Aaliyah sent me <laughs> that mini um, the little mini journal and if you haven't seen that video you can go and watch that she made a tiny little book and then I filled each one with um, a little collage on every page. I think it was like 30 something pages, but um, that was really fun to challenge myself to actually make that many tiny, tiny collages. So that was fun to do. So after that, we both got hooked on minis and uh, she really loves the minis. So she came up with the mini moo card challenge and it's so I hope really that you fun. guys join in with us and, you know, just post a video or, you know, a craft with me or something like that and uh, share your idea with us so we can see what you have come up with with this tiny little project. I know some people have commented that they have done it before, but this was the first time, you know, I knew that it came into... Um, like the junk journaling and mixed media world. So um, they're really fun to work on. So let's see. I think I'll give them, I'll give him a red jacket. <laughs> and when you're looking for little things, kind of look at your, and this could be for anything, for an ATC, for a tiny pocket that you have. Look at your supplies and see what you can cut out of another 
piece. So if you don't have something small enough, like, <clears throat> excuse me, this two, if you needed that a number for something, or this two, you could just cut that part out. So when you're looking at your ephemera and all your pieces or your magazines, whatever you're going to use to use for embellishment, um, kind of just look at them with a different view and see how you can use them other than how they are printed like that one. You know, there's different ways that you can use it. You can cut it in half, use only part of it. You could cut out the elements. Also, I think that we forget to look at our scrapbook paper because it has like different prints. Um, and if you kind of focus on one little area or one little image that's on the paper, I think that you would have so much ephemera that you didn't realize that you already have. And so um, going out and buying things, you know, for a project, you might already have something on hand there. And you know what I've talked about before is what I like to do is get a template. This one is not a tiny, I don't know where my template is. And then on your page, <laughs> it's not what we're talking about, but you know, so go over your page with whatever your template is. I have one for ATC. I have one um, just for little words. And I just start scanning, you know, the page with this, whatever my template is. And then you can see, and you can kind of single out images um, and what they might look like if you cut them out. So anyway, that's just, just one way, like magazines, books, um, wherever you're looking, I'm sorry. Sometimes even in those magazines we get in the junk mail that want us to buy something, you can um, cut images out from there. But if you cut yourself a template of the size that you're going to cut out ATC pocket you will be surprised about what you could see looking through that view so um, give it a try and see all right what you think. I see and these are watercolor pens these are the little Tim Holtz characters and I'm just gonna go all wild here with Christmas <laughs> just give them some Christmas outfits I feel like Back in the Victorian days, they liked the bright colors and things like that. So, let's see. What is she? This is her collar to her coat. And so, I don't have a plan other than I wanted to use these little characters because they are just barely big enough to fit. And already used stickers. I feel like he has on tall boots or socks or something. But anyway, I've used stickers. Used, I don't know, just trying to come up with new ideas <clears throat> for these little cards. So, um, let's see. We'll give her a green hat to match her jacket. And again, with these little characters, you know, just Think about coloring them. Um, I know I only use these, so I don't know what other um, maybe crayons. I mean, of course, you can use acrylic paints, things like that. Um, I like these because they cover, but they kind of whoop paint stuck to me. They kind of leave a little bit of the shading in the background, and um, so I like that when I use these. So, but you know, just think about coloring them doing something different with them. Um, all right. So again, there's not much I can say during this other than, you know, you let you guys, let me fumble through here and see what I'm going to come up with. I'm going to try to zoom my camera in a little bit. I'm so sorry that it's dark. Um, we'll see what we can do here. So remember to um, join in the fun. Use the hashtag Mini Mood Card Monday 
tag Aaliyah and I in your description so that we can come over and see your ideas. And we want to say thanks for um, joining in with us and um, posting your ideas and just spending time with us. And um, I'll say thank you for myself. Thank you for joining me. And I want to say thanks again. And I'll put everything down in the description for Aaliyah's channel so you can go over and watch her. She is a joy to watch and to listen to. So make sure you hop over there and watch her videos. All right. So I'm going to zoom in just a little bit and put on some music for you guys. mini cards for this week's post um just my one by one by 2.75 little card and then i layered some christmas paper and the tim holtz characters that i painted and then these were little snowflakes that i had they're um, just foam i think i got them at dollar tree years ago um i went through my tim holtz words i didn't have a christmas pack so i just tried to find words that described christmas Put the little berries um, and holly on there. Um, because the foam uh, was thicker, I put the little foam squares on the back of the characters so they would um, not kind of be uh, slanted there, that they would lay a little bit flatter. So what I like about the watercolors is once you rub them, they kind of get this muted color like you've colored an old photograph or something like that so I like the way the colors change once you get them on there so I'm going to go in the other room and take um, brighter pictures so that you can see them in the end but I think they turned out super cute so I hope you guys are going to join us in the mini moo card Monday really fun little project so now that they're done you could attach them to a pocket if you make journals um, I hang mine around my craft room along with my ATCs and my tags. Um, 
but um, you put them in your art journal. They lay pretty flat, but once you make a mini mood card, there it's just um, then it's an embellishment, and um, you can use it wherever you would use any other type of embellishment um, to put in a journal, um, put it on a card. Uh, if you make cards, like greeting cards, things like that, put that on the front. Uh, just like you would use any other embellishment, you could use a mini mood card. It's just fun to challenge yourself to see what you could do on this little tiny canvas. So thanks for joining me again, you guys. I appreciate it. I appreciate you taking your time to do so. And um, I'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.